Hi everyone, Cheryl here. So I wanted to share with you the project that I created this week for the Cutting Cafe. So for this week, it was all about super size. So <clears throat> what we had to do was um, take a file, any file that didn't matter, and just basically size it up way larger than what it was um, originally. Just so that you guys could actually see that these uh, files are super versatile, that you can use them many different types of ways, and they don't have to stay the same size in which you purchase them at. So what you're looking at is um, one of the pieces that I created. This one isn't the one that's super size. I'm going to show you that in a minute. I used the coin envelope and I actually just altered an envelope. It's not quite the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not quite the um, loaded pocket because I'm not quite done with it. I still have a couple more things to do with it, but I really do like it as is. So this is actually one of the topper pieces that goes in it. So this is actually just a rosette punch, <clears throat> um, one of the Martha Stewart ones, a doily that I've inked up the edges. I did use, the paper that I used was a romance novel too, but this piece right here is from the romance novel, the original one. Um, <clears throat> and you guys can see that. And it's just on a paper straw. And then on the back, this is from Regina's monogram set, and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. And it's just inked around the edges with black soot. <clears throat> so here is the loaded pocket. It actually turned out super, super cute. I'm actually going to alter a couple more things um, with it as well. And so as you guys can see, there's the pocket down here. Now, before I um, show you what, uh, how I did this, rather... With the coin envelope, you know you have the little flip in the back that's the round part. I cut that part off because I didn't need it. Um, and you can't see, obviously, on the back because it's covered up with paper. Um, but I just wanted you guys to know, for those that do loaded pockets and all, um, a lot of the other different things that we do, especially with many albums, and you need a large pocket to put in there, you can use Regina's files for that. She does have a lot of envelope files, and you can totally just resize them, make them larger for the size that you need. And there you go. So, <clears throat> excuse me, for this one, um, all of the paper used on the pocket is the Romance Novel 2, except for um, these pieces right here that fold out. That's from the original one. So down here at the bottom is um, paper and then some trim, as well as some tiny pearl back trim as well. And then just on the inside is just um, some things I put in there. So as you guys can see, it's a nice size pocket there. And then um, this piece is not completely adhered on because I'm not sure if I want to leave it there or do something different. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a altered paper clip, one of the large paper clips from Michaels. And I just kind of took that off in the back and so I could add the paper clip there. <clears throat> on the inside, uh -oh. this is a glassine bag. And all I did was I stamped a Prima doll image um, with uh, some ink. And then I heat set it with um, some embossing powder <clears throat> in green. And then on the inside is just some tags that I threw in there from the collection, a couple other things. Just to kind of show you guys, you know, just some of the different options that you can do with this. On the back is a belly band. And again, I just put these in there so you actually would be able to see um, that it holds more things. Or some ideas that you guys could do to... Um, <clears throat> Sorry, I cannot think today. I can't get my words out right. Um, just some um, different options for you. Originally, when I did this, I had the glassine bag back there. And I may still put the glassine bag back there because I think it looks really cute when you have it like that. But <clears throat> this is a, uh, the pocket. Again, like I said, I love, love, love how it turned out. I think I'm still going to tweak a couple things just because, you know, I think I need more lace. So... Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out Regina at the Cutting Cafe. She also has a shop now where she carries um, lots of different products. She carries her clear card stock, and she's also making um, personalized stamp sets. So if you want to add, say, a couple sentiments or even like handmade by, you know, your name or something else along with one of her other stamp sets, you can definitely order that. So I'll leave a link in the description box below to her shop. Be sure to leave a comment on the Cutting Cafe blog once she posts up all the projects from the design team because you will be entered to win any three free files. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.